Hello and welcome. My name is Antilles and welcome to Kerbal Space Endeavor. This is my new series that I'm starting with version 24.2. I finally got the game to work and it is 32-bit. The 64-bit version doesn't seem to work with all of the mods that I would like to use. So we'll jump right in, in here. Um, this is a little bit of a challenge game that I put on myself, so there's a certain set of rules that I put myself into. First of all, we're gonna get rid of the following things. I'm not allowed to revert to launch, and I'm not allowed to revert to the editor. I'm gonna keep quick saving and quick loading, because sometimes things bug out and I still do make a lot of mistakes, so we're gonna keep that. But there's no reverting to launch, no reverting to the editor, which means I may or may not run out of money. The second thing is, I do have tech life support installed, and I disabled all the respawn that there is. And uh, so if any Kerbal dies, he is gone forever. And um, yeah, let's get more into it. Um, yeah, we can just accept all of these right now. Second uh, rule that I'm gonna put into the game is I will not go to a planet, so I will not do a manned mission to planets before I have been there with an unmanned mission. So if for every planet that I wanna go to, I want to send a remote mission first. Now this is going to make it a little bit harder for me at the beginning because I have Remote Tech 2 installed. So I will have to build up a new network of communicating satellites to get coverage enough to go to the moon and back. So launch a new vessel, achieve an altitude of 5000 meters. And we're going to do this with this craft here. No, we don't need he and heat shield yet. Heat shield is in the game because I have deadly reentry installed. I also have ferrum airspace installed. And um, let's get this in here. Get this ready up. Oh, we don't need any of this right now. So no. Let's call this the. It's not gonna go into orbit, so we can't call it orbiter. Let's just call it the launcher one. And who's gonna be the first man? Yeah, let's let it be Jebediah. And let's hope he won't die. Ooh. And there's the sound a little bit too loud. Let me fix this really quick. This is the chatter mod, which gives some nice ambient sound to the game. But as you can hear right now, it's very, very loud. And the wind is blowing so loud, I can barely hear anything. There we go. There we go. And we get the wind down. That is a lot more reasonable. Okay, over here you see I have the alternate um, pack that lets you see all of your... I don't even know what it is. Um, fuel, oxygen, and everything. So let's crank this up. We're ready to launch. Let's get a crew report just for fun. Get an EVA report because we need all the science we can get. I am my and here we go. We have one objective complete right now. We need to reach 5,000 meters, which shouldn't be a problem. And we reached 5,000, so we got both of our objectives complete. And we get five signs for this. Very good. See if we can get actually a little bit higher. Maybe we get in 
EVA in space. That would be really good. Uh, it will not be enough. I fear it will not be enough. Is there a way to, like, move this over a little bit? Show settings? A window on a lock. Eight style, Miller property, styling, like visual. It. What? <laughs> ah, lock window position. I want it here. Thank you. Safe position. And we're almost out. Let's. No, no, no. Let's save really quick. Let's do an EVA. Do an EVA report from the upper atmosphere, which is worth quite a bit. Take the data. Let's store it again. Store the data. Get back in so we can do a crew report. Very good. And now it is time to plunge again towards the planet. Increase warp really quick. Escape the atmosphere. External atmospheric pressure sensors are all at zero. You have broken past Kerbin's atmosphere and reached space. Hooray! Okay, so we got more science, more reputation, and more funds. Now let's hope the landing will be a success. Okay, we need to reorient our ship because our engine is the one that can withstand re-entry at this speed. But we're not going too fast, so we should be fine. Could actually already open the chute, slow us down even further, but as you can see, we're not even reaching critical temperature. We're all good and fine. Let's open the chute. Turn off SAS. And we're a little bit further away from the Kerbal Space Center, so we won't get the full amount of our craft back, but it should be enough. As long as we save it as a whole piece, it should be good. And 700 meters, the parachute should open, and there we go. We're going down by 11 meters per second, which is a little bit fast. That's why we still have a little bit of fuel left, which we're going to use in the last second. There we go. And now we watch it slowly fall over. All still in one piece. And turn on SCS again. And of course we're going to get the maximum amount of things. So we have one flying over Kerbin's waters, which we're going to store. Then we're going to let go. Take an EVA report from here. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to go here, was it? Yeah. And you've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. Sounds very smart. And we're going to take all the data, all the data, and store it again. And hopefully we can get back in, which we cannot. Uh-oh. Well, I guess we won't be getting that one crew report then. However, let's recover Jebediah. And Jebediah has a splashdown ribbon awarded for executing an EVA with a not stable orbit. And he has the G Force 6 ribbon awarded for withstanding an acceleration of at least 6G. This summary comes from the Final Frontier mod, which allows me to kind of connect better to my Kerbals.
because they gain ex not really experience but ribbons now we just need to recover the launcher one and get all of that juicy juicy science which is 45 there we go we got 92.5 percent of the original back because it landed fairly close to the Kerbal Space Center. Okay, and now here we have the fast forwarded version of me doing silly contracts that you get at the beginning of the game where you strap on as many parts as you can and test them at the certain heights that you do need them to fulfill the contractor's needs. I do feel that, and yep, I did some mistakes right there, Ferrum airspace destroyed my craft, but I got Bill Kerman back home safe and sound. And here's another silly design, just to test a very very odd and spe more than specific contract. However, um, we're doing quite a good job of getting these done. And um, if you want to watch the entire thing, there is my stream on Twitch. Otherwise, you have here more of the cut down and summed up version. And here we have a nice, neat little landing right in the middle of the Kerbal Space Center, which the guys of the Kerbal Space Center will have fun to clean up afterwards. And here's our next mission with Ed Kerman going up into space fulfilling contracts so we get more and more science, more and more money and we can finally move forward with the Kerbal Space Endeavor. And um, we just finally get our first EVA in outer space and we're collecting as much science as we can and let's go back to old me. Let's have a look at this from Ed Kerman's you and he sees some stars but nothing else let's see the information we can get from the in-flight computer this is also a mod that I'm using that lets you have all of these neat things that tell you where you're going how you're flying and a lot of other cool stuff but I haven't really figured all of this out and as you can see I shouldn't have done that, and Ed Kerman died. That... What I get for being impatient. And not paying attention. And to commemorate Ed Kerman, I stole an idea from someone else. And here we are, planting a flag for Ed Kerman, our first man that is lost. Ed Herman Memorial. Is that how you spell memorial? I just guess that's how you spell memorial. Here lies Ed Kerman. May he forever be remembered as the first victim. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not say victim first. Um, casualty? No, let's not be that mean. As the first tester to be dead. <laughs> and we're going to take a surface sample just because it's fun. And we're going to take an EVA report. Let's make the most out of this. But after this tragic accident, we got back to more testing and more failings, but Jebediah did a great job to survive this accident. However, we found a new contract. We've heard that Barston Kerman is stranded in space and we need to retrieve him. Whoever got him up there in the first place, we will never know. But we are the ones sent up there to retrieve him. So we rebuilt the rescuer one to fly up there and get them and it will be Bill Kerman up to the job to get him down or will they both die a horrible death. And here we see normal maneuvering of getting this awesome rocket up into space. All of the stages that I launch I designed 
to be uh, refunded so everything that is plunging back towards the planet and actually survives the uh, re-entry will have parachutes that activate and therefore land the debris safely thus returning money back to me which otherwise would be lost to me and um, yeah that is happening because I have deb refund installed is a mod that lets you do that and yeah with just a normal new maneuvering we finally get closer and closer to Barston Kerman a little bit more adjustment here and now we're supposed to get to him yep almost there just a little bit closer and yes we're pretty much there and Barston Kerman is running out of food and oxygen and a lot of other stuff. This is due to the fact that tech life support does not give spawned um, kerbals any kind of yeah food, electricity, or anything else for that matter. So once we get into a close range of him, we have a limited amount of time to save him, otherwise he freezes to death, because electricity is the first thing that kills someone. Or is it oxygen? I don't remember how tech life support works in that matter. But we only have that much to kill, we make a quick save. Boston Barston Kerman is over here and we're gonna switch to him turn on our RCS and fly to the rescuer because he's lost everything no power no oxygen no water no food but of course he still has an EVA fuel left turn oh we cannot turn on the light never mind because he's out of power whoa 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 a little bit faster, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Alright. And here we are on board. Rescue Barston Kerman from Kerman. Barston Kerman is now part of the space program crew. We found a new guy and it is, was worth 6,250 science. Now, we are supposed to collect some science and bring it back home for more achievements. Yes, keep it, keep it anyway. Toggle the bay, toggle this. Materials bay is useless, but maybe we can observe the mystery goo. So then, we just move our craft back into position to get back to Kerbin safe and sound. With our new crew member, Barston Kerman. However, this is pretty much the last mission we'll do for this episode. In the next episode, we will have to advance further into space. And before we can do that, we need to build up our satellite network which we should be able to unlock all the necessary tools and equipment to finally let us have stationary satellites in space. So yeah, before we can get to any other planets, we will need the satellites. We'll be launching three of these satellites, put them into geostationary orbit, and then it's just time to send up probes, probes, and yeah, more probes to see what is out there and what more we can get. However, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the first episode of Kerbal Space Endeavor, and there will be more to follow fairly soon. I hope you guys stay tuned, and until next time.